Hello everyone. Welcome to Hydropower. Today we will be discussing about the gross and net head and estimation. On which we will talk about the 1 gross head 2 net head 3 operating head 4 rated head So let's start with the introduction. In engineering and fluid dynamics, gross head and net head are used in the context of hydroelectric power plants. To describe different aspects of the total available energy from a water source that can be harnessed to generate electricity. Estimating gross head and net head is a critical step in the design of hydropower projects. These values help engineers determine the potential energy available for power generation and the actual energy that can be harnessed efficiently. Here's how gross head and net head estimation is carried out in hydropower. Projects Gross head Gross head refers to the total vertical distance between the water source's level at the intake and the level at the turbine center level at powerhouse. It represents the total potential energy available in the water due to the difference in elevation between these two points. Gross head does not take into account losses due to friction, bends in pipes, or other factors that might reduce the actual amount of energy that can be extracted. Steps that need to be carried out for the gross head are, survey data collection and elevation calculation are. Survey and data collection. Conduct a topographic survey of the project area to accurately measure the elevation of the water source and the turbine center line at powerhouse. High precision GPS equipment or total station surveying tools are commonly used for this purpose. Identify the location where water will be captured for power generation and where it will be released after passing through the turbine. Elevation calculation Mathematically, gross head is calculated as the formula shown. Now let's talk about the net head. Net head is calculated on the basis of various losses and inefficiencies that occur within the hydropower system. These losses include friction losses in pipes, losses due to bends and fittings, losses at the entrance and exit of the pipes and turbine, and other hydraulic losses. Net head represents the actual usable energy that can be converted into mechanical or electrical energy by the hydropower system. Steps that need to be carried out for the net head are, hydraulic analysis and net head calculation are. Hydraulic analysis. Perform a hydraulic analysis of the system, considering factors such as pipe diameter, length, material, bends, fittings, and any other hydraulic losses. Calculate the total head losses based on the hydraulic analysis. This includes friction losses, losses at bends and fittings, and other losses. Net head calculation Mathematically, net head is calculated as Factors that play major role in head loss are friction loss, bend and fittings loss, entrance and exit losses. Bend and fitting losses, contraction and expansion losses, cavitation, turbulence and mixing, elevation changes. Cavitation, turbulence and mixing, elevation changes are considered as the minor losses in net head loss. Calculated as The formula shown
Now let's talk about the operating head. Operating head, is a measure of the energy in a fluid at a specific point in a system. It considers both pressure and elevation. It's crucial in hydropower and fluid systems, determining potential power or system efficiency. Bernoulli's equation relates pressure, velocity, elevation, and density. Engineers use it to calculate operating head and assess available energy. The formula for calculating operating head using Bernoulli's equation is the formula shown now let's go for the rated head or design head. Rated head, also called design head, is the optimal operating head specified for a hydropower project or turbine to achieve maximum power output. It's a key parameter in system design. The formula for calculating the rated power of a hydropower system is as the formula shown. Is it's important to note that accurate estimation of both gross head and net head is crucial for designing efficient and effective hydropower systems. The net head is the more practical value to consider, as it reflects the actual energy available for power generation after accounting for losses. Thank you. See you in next video.